ladies and gentlemen. See that big Z up there? That's a chemtrail. Now that's not what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about we all live on a little blue ball, which is not a blue ball, not a blue ball at all. We don't live on a little blue ball, and that line in the sky that's about looking like it's going to make a Z, that's proof. But more proof is I'm going to stand right here. I'm going to stand right here. And behind me, we have a cariton and a raft from a few years ago when I was in Alona Beach. But, what? Well, look at that big Z up there. She's, she's getting ready to become one of those bigger fluffy lines. But I kind of proved that that is not a man-made because I kind of proved that everything that you have learned in the, in the recorded here, I have, I have many proofs to do. You have to bear with me, this video is going to be about one hour long. I kind of proved that that Z, well, what's about it to make a Z like a Zola craft, which was the name of my first business. Uh, that, that line just disappeared. How could a cloud come coming from a nothing, make a 45 degree angle, and then go like this and like that? like Mr. Obama goes like this and like that and with kind of ask Mr. Larry Sinclair when you get there because we're all going to the same place which is nowhere but you could have think I was a drinking but I was not a drinking I do not a drink but oh, look at that up oh, the Z look at the Z the Z Z Ooh, ooh. and in a few minutes we're gonna look at that tree over there where that log is over there where that stick coming out of the water is over there. that Z is gonna be something like this fluffy stuff but to show you that the world is not around there's a Cebu and there's a Dumaguete now you cannot you cannot make this stuff up ladies and gentlemen Dumaguete is over there 17 kilometers <laughs> and when I on a clear day, which we don't get a clear days anymore, so you cannot document this stuff. But on a clear day, I couldn't see the beach. Uh, couldn't see the, it's like a, gray, a, a brown line. You couldn't see this brown line with the buildings on the beach. You, I have a pair of binoculars that could see that. And, and I have the other camera that I could see that, the Sony CR-150. But cannot see it anymore because they make everything like a blue haze. Which Manny has, Manny from the great Manny from Manny Skywatch. I don't care what anybody from Tennessee thinks about the great Manny from Manny Skywatch. He's still the greatest, one of the greatest YouTube creators in the world. He has come up with concepts and have brought other people into the idea that concepts exist more than anybody else. More than, except maybe there's a few other people, but I don't know watch those other people because Personally, I have only enough for time for me. I'm a selfish bastard. But secondly, the only person I like who has a proper attitude is the great Manny from Manny Skywatch. But he's the one that told me a long time ago that the earth is a flat. And he's the one that told me, look at those clouds, how they're changing. And they're making my ears deaf. Manny from the great Manny Skywatch, he's the one that told me that the clouds were not real. And now, Rabbi, Drew Barker knows that the clouds are not real because, not because of man he said, but because I observed. And this was four years ago. But I also have my own discoveries, which we will talk about. But man, he's a crazy bastard from a, from Canada. He's the old coot, kind of shovel snow. He's, he's, he's tells me the earth is a flat about two years, one and a half years ago, maybe. I do not remember because I was not paying attention to Crazy Bastard. First, he shows you that there's chemtrails and they're real in the clouds. Then he talks about these spider webs, but they turn out to be real. Then now he's on this, oh my god, he's on the ladyboy kick. No, not the ladyboy, the he she thing thing. The he she thing thing. Whatever that is, he's, got, he's on it to a new concept. He's so far ahead of us. We kind of never catch up to the great Manny, but Manny also makes me understand that that island over there, which is um, uh, 13 kilometers away, depending on where, that's a 13, and this is, th no, this is a 34. Dumaguete's 34 kilometers away. Okay, so Dumaguete's 34, this is a, this is a 13. So Dumaguete, I could see, 
I could have seen the, the beach out of Doom Miguel. You could have seen we're running out of life here. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Doom is. The earth is flat, ladies and gentlemen. See this a wheelbarrow? Could have seen that the water seeks its own level. Flat. The water seeks its own level. So Dumaguete is 34 kilometers over there, yeah? And this raft, this is the raft from a one and a half years ago when I was in about staying out of the Bellevue. And this raft and now she's taking a taking a beating. Well you could have remembered this this angle, this is the same rafter without the without the tents on the top. So like everything else, we all fade away. But not a Manny Skywatch. He will be he's a great demand, Manny from a man from a Canada. This is one of the greatest men on the YouTube. He's a he's a real YouTuber creator. Like a Rabbi Jubach. I mean a Michael Fazio. So 34 kilometers away Dumaguete is. And yet I could have seen the shoreline. I, there was a, a clear day last week. I did not have my Sony, and the GoPro will not see my CR 150. But you could see the shoreline and the buildings on the shoreline. But my friend, who is another inventor, but not on YouTube, but he makes YouTube videos, is the inventor of the Taco Rock. I mean, the Taco Rock, and he's a. He's like a he's like a brother. He's like a me and him are like a brothers from another mother. From we are like a two brothers. But he's the inventor of the taco rack. His name is Nicholas. I will not say his last name, but you could go to his website and if you want to promote the taco rack or buy taco racks because those are the best taco racks in the world. Nicholas, been, I was on the computer the other day, and Nicholas gave me this formula which Manny may have put in his videos, because Manny's a very great man, but he leaves out a lot of details. <laughs> a lot of details, but he's always right. He's, well, he's right as much as I am a right, and I'm always right, so he's always right. And Nick was right too, because Nick, Nick from the Taco Rack, the inventor and the, the designer of the Taco Rack, he showed me that over there, Dumaguete, right there, right there, that mountain range right there, uh, I will put that mountain range in view right now. You could see at the top of the wheelbarrow, there's like a dark line. That's the water. Above of that dark line is the mountain range of a Dumaguete. That world is a flat, but that's a 17 miles and a 34 kilometers. So Nicholas from a Nicholas, so from a Nicholas, from a Nicholas taco rack, gives me this formula I put on a piece of paper and I follow his instructions. And I should have not be able to see the first 192 feet. This is about a month ago. I think it was 192 feet. I should have not be able to see that the beach. I should have not be able to see the hotels on the beach. I should have not be able to see anything but the mountains and above. Now, but now what are they doing? They put it as a chemtrail, but we're gonna go back over here. Got to go. Got to do a lot of stuff here today. Got to. Th this disease is gone, but the line that was like this, and now it's a big cloud. How did a big cloud come from a, a line? Because I'm going to tie all of this stuff up with uh, Alex Jones, who was a. Uh, his his Alex Jones and Michael Savage, Michael Rivero, David Ike, and Jordan Maxwell. They're all part of this cabal of a people that I spoke about in my book Angels on the Ark and by the way I want to make it just a one time I will say it now and maybe five or six or seven times later if you're not if you don't have a board of my book don't have a real channel if you have a sock puppet account if you don't show my channel that you are subscribed to my channel and it push the like button which is difficult if you work off a cell phone but I do not care if I don't see that there's a steady stream of a, influence positive or negative but but mostly the negative people I have a I have a I have a poo poo can to the negative people I'm tired of reading about their their crap but but they are welcome to comment anywhere else I do not I cannot stop those people those are jealous people from commenting but uh, okay so David Ike Alex Jones Mike Rivero now is 
Mike Rivera's are starting to do this, baby. But Mike Rivera has, see, they all work from a different premise. Alex Jones is this. This, 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 this. Uh, Alex Jones is this too sometimes. Uh, Alex Jones is always with the finger making the pyramid. Like over here, like a Merkel mix of the pyramid. Merkel, Alex Jones, David Icke, Mike Rivera, oh, and Michael Savage. He's, oh, oh these people have a, they have a gift of a gab. Every one of those people that I talk to work for the same cabal that have made this world. 330 million years ago, according to the proof in my book. Now, I'm going to mention my book again, Angels on the Ark by Michael Fazio, available at Amazon.com. Of course, my book was, they will not allow my book to become a world-renowned and a famous, because, because, the, because if they allow my book to become world-renowned, I have a proven on the dollar bill that there's the Ark of the Covenant. This is an Illuminati hand sign, but I'm not doing that. It represents a number one. But a better way to represent a number one is your number one, Mr. Obama. I have proven that the Ark of the Covenant is on the $1 bill because of this ancient race of a being that controls all of this, everything that you see here. This is your Christmas special. Sit back and get some popcorn. This is going to be a long one. The Ark of the Covenant is a pictograph created millions, if not billions, of years ago. Millions, if not billions of years ago. Associated with a book that is now in this incarnation, probably and always, I'll bet you that book has not changed in a hundred million years. I would say that the people that have created this wheelbarrow by allowing this world to exist, even though this is not a world, wow, that was a good catch. Even though this is not a world, this is a, a plane, which they just added a T on. I've been watching Eric Dubai's videos. I would say that guy is, Eric Dubai, you, my friend, are number one in the flat earth concept. No kidding. I listened to the flat earth concept from Manny, who gets his stuff from you, and that other guy, whatever, it begins with a J, like a Jesus, but not a Jesus. I don't, I don't like anybody's videos but yours, Eric Dubai. I don't know why. Uh, well, I relate to you. I, I relate to you in a lot a lot of ways that you you have the understanding of the esoteric nature of the universe I was going to go like this which is Michael Rivero has the Illuminati hand sign like this over the lip it means there's a mason in the room I think according to what it says on the internet and uh, Alex Jones he does this but Mike Rivero hasn't been doing this a lot lately too Jordan Maxwell he has the other you have to Google Illuminati hand signs, but Eric Dubai has the understanding of the nature of the universe who created this wheelbarrow. Now, the universe was created by something that we call God. But what, what is a God is not necessarily God, and I believe that Eric Dubai has the bigger handle on this subject matter. Bigger handle than anybody else. But that's not why I like his videos. There was something subliminal about Eric Dubai's videos. He is, he is, he is not politically correct, but he's not lying to you either. See, that's the thing. See, I won't do this shit like this. See, see, I don't talk like this. This, I do this when I'm underwater. It means I'm okay. This means I'm okay. This means I'm okay. This means go up, actually. Do not do this when you're underwater. But Eric Dubai has a subliminal ability to touch you on a subliminal basis. Now, you could say, just as this wheelbarrow, which is a karitaka, kariata, 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 this wheelbarrow is about to get disappear. Like that island over there in front of the rope. She's getting ready to disappear like a... Van Buntag! They are getting ready to make of this world itself disappear because every so many years of the buildup of the civilization. Now this is where I like Eric Dubai. He understands this. He understands that outside of Miami, 90 miles 
to the south of Miami, there's an underwater city. Now, he, I've never heard him talk about that, but I know he knows about this. And the underwater city is under 2,000 feet of blue water off the coast of Cuba. And at that 2,000 feet, there's a city that has been completely na navigated and, and documented by deep water submarines that's 17,000 years old. And it's carved out of a, sol a solid outcropping, from what I understand, of coral, which has, when the ocean was above and the coral was being built and then the earth, the plane, the plane, Eric to buy the plane, when the plane shifted and the water went someplace else, and then came to Florida, the, the water came up and, it, and the city was down there and then 1,000 or 1,700 or 2,000 feet of water. She rise up and here's the city, right? This is the city. She's underwater now, but she used to be on top of the water. But millions of years ago, my in Buntag, Salam amigo. Okay, you want to be in the video or voila? No, no, no. Delete. You don't want to be in the video? Important meeting. Okay, amigo. Thank you very much. Salam. What is the name? It's ca it's a Kalibata, yeah? What is the name of this? No, but in Visaya? Yep. You heard it here first. So, Salam amigo. My in Buntag. So the city. <coughs> the city under 1700 or 2000 feet of water now was once above the water and they cut the city out of solid coral like this this let's say this is solid coral. they made buildings it's one big block of coral coral grows in a solid formation it doesn't grow here and there at the top it grows here and there but as it grows up it fills up every little porous piece like this maybe look like there's coral reefs right off Key Largo where I live where and in in uh, Big Pine Key where there are trenches that are 30 feet sand coral sand coral sand coral sand coral my in Buntag please just your voice just uh, just uh, ah okay there's some I will go over there yeah. Salamat okay so this is the this is the uh, this is the 